So, making a mistake with a pencil is easy to fix. You just use the pink side, right? And with ink, you just flip the eraser and use the blue part. Wrong! And you just wrecked a perfectly good piece of paper. That's because the blue part is actually also for pencil. Mind blown! The blue side of the eraser is for erasing mistakes on thicker paper, where the softer pink side just can't get the job done. A vegetable peeler isn't just for potatoes or carrots. You can use it to shave off thin slices of onion. Hey, I just saved you time, stress, and a whole bunch of tears. It's also good for cutting perfect thin slices of cheese. Everything is better with cheese. The diagonal leather patch on backpacks isn't just for decoration. It's there to hold your nasty shoes. Backpacks are made for the outdoors, with pockets to hold water bottles, pens, maps, coins, and maybe even tiny dogs. So it makes sense to tie up your muddy shoes on the outside of your bag. Placing a wooden spoon across the top of a pot of pasta can stop it from turning into a volcano situation. The bubbles get all confused when they come into contact with the spoon's water-repelling surface, and they retreat back into the pot, victory! Less mess and more pasta. If you're pre-rinsing your dishes like you were told to, you might be getting worse results from your dishwasher. Most modern dishwashers have sensors inside them to sense how dirty your plates are. Then they unleash a controlled jet of water to get all of that stuff off. Scrape any solid food into your compost bin and stack them up properly. Let the dishwasher do the hard work. Dropping an open juice box can turn a relaxing Sunday into a day of cleaning up a sticky mess. The manufacturers know how you feel and how clumsy you can be. That's why they put little handles on the cartons. Flip up the flaps at the top of the juice box. Okay, now you can totally space out. Blenders are designed to have the liquids put in first. To make the perfect smoothie, Add your milk, coconut water, yogurt, or whatever you use in first, then your berries and spinach and whatever. You can thank me later. (laughs) You're welcome. Ever pull the foil lid off a pudding or one of those mini applesauce things and realize you don't have a spoon with you? Don't worry, there's a trick for that hidden in the foil. Give it a little fold and it's good to go. Now, it's not really a spoon, more of a mini shovel, but it gets the job done. Or you can use your fingers instead. No. No more sacrificing your fingernail on that key ring your friend got you in Cabo. For a frustration-free way to add a new key to your ring, grab a staple remover and wedge its teeth between the coils. Create even more space by pressing down. Now, there's no need to cry over spilled milk. Pouring milk out of a carton can sometimes lead to messy accidents. Unless you use this simple trick, turn the carton around and pour it out that way. What? It may seem weird, but once you try it, you'll never go back. Have you ever tried to pull out a square of plastic wrap only to have the whole roll jump out of the box in excitement? Not anymore. There's little cardboard tabs on the sides to hold the tube in place making it easy to glide the film out. Just push them in and never be frustrated again. Never! Using a plunger on a clogged kitchen sink or toilet can be annoying. But have you really got the right tool for the job? One is the standard bowl-shaped rubber head. This is perfect for flat surfaces like a sink or a tub. The other one has a narrower head on it, specifically designed for toilet pipes. Having a cold drink on a hot summer's day is so refreshing. But what do you do if your soda bottle is still warm? Cry? The always handy paper towel is here to save the day. With the towel, wrap it around the bottle and place it in the freezer for 15 to 20 minutes. Presto! A nice cold beverage. When you look at a check and see MP near the signature line, It means the check printer used microprint as an extra security feature. To the untrained eye, it looks like a normal line. Tricky stuff. Elevators have many tricks up their sleeves. Not that they actually wear coats or anything. Pressing the floor button twice to turn it off, 
holding the closed door button and your floor together to get an express ride? Does that actually work? But what about that secret hole in the outside door? Is someone looking in on your bored, resting elevator face? As cool as that would be, it's only for maintenance people to open the elevator and fix any problems. Cutting cherry tomatoes can be extremely boring, one tomato at a time. Surely, there's a quicker way to do this. Well, try placing a bunch of them between two plates. Slice in between and enjoy perfectly cut cherry tomato halves. The colored tags used to seal bread tell you which day of the week the bread was baked on. Who would have guessed? The coating makes it easier for shops to remove older loaves from the shelves. But bread tags can do more than keep your favorite loaf sealed. Grabbing the right cord from behind the TV is all about luck. Until now. Use the old bread tags as indicators to quickly find the cord you want. Look at some of those loose coins in your jar by the door. Notice those ridges? Back in the 18th century, people would file coins down, round up the shavings, and mint their own coins later. To stop this, the U.S. Mint decided to put ridges on the coins to show if they've been tampered with. Now, it's just tradition. The indent at the bottom of wine bottles is called a punt. The punt makes the wine bottle stronger, so if they're dropped, the cork won't fly across the room with all that pressure. Now, takeaway sodas have a built-in coaster. Where, you might ask? The lid, of course. Place the lid down on a table under your drink to avoid any of those annoying condensation rings. Wooden hangers aren't just great for the environment, they'll save your clothes, too. If you have pine or cedar hangers laying around, keep them in the closet with all the others. The secret behind wooden hangers is that they'll keep moths off your clothes and make them smell fresh, too. Only a few people know the secret of getting your to-go ketchup out of the bottle without wasting any. So tap that number 57 sweet spot to get a perfect, what's the word, dollop? Don't waste your strawberries by cutting off the top. Use a straw and push through from the bottom of the strawberry. Now enjoy a tasty cylinder of strawberry goodness. Just don't eat the leaves. The brushes on the sides of escalators aren't for cleaning your shoes. But they do do a great job. The nylon brushes stop us from getting caught on the side of the escalator by tickling our ankles. Interesting trick. Many screwdrivers can be used with a wrench to create more torque. Just place the wrench over the handle of the screwdriver and you'll use a lot less force than you would have before. It also makes it easier to get to those hard-to-reach areas. Flip any Tupperware container over and you'll likely see a few symbols. These are to show you if they're dishwasher safe, if they can be microwaved or frozen, and how to recycle them. So it turns out we've been opening bananas wrong for way too long. Instead of opening up at the stem, turn them upside down and peel from the bottom. It opens much easier that way. That's how monkeys eat them. So how do we get it so wrong? Analog watches can do much more than tell time. If you need to step away from your computer a bunch of times, but don't want to have to keep logging back in, place your mouse over the top of your analog watch. The mouse will read the ticking second hand and keep your computer screen from turning black. Extension cords can easily frustrate anyone. Just as you start getting into a rhythm, the power cuts out. The best way to avoid this is simple. Builders use this trick all the time. Tie the ends together and they'll never disconnect again. Keychain bottle openers aren't just for kids, you know. On the underside, there's a thing you can use to open a can as well. This works especially well if you don't have nails or don't want them broken. Back in the day, pizza for dinner was like winning the lottery, only with more cheese. But did you ever notice that plastic stopper in the middle of the box, stopping the lid from touching the pizza? It also has another use. Use this little stopper to hold down the slice next to yours when you're getting it out of the box. Yeah, you can thank me later. That square of fabric isn't meant for repairing holes in your clothing, although might as well keep it just in case. It's actually a tester for your washing machine and detergent. 
If the fabric square comes out of the cycle okay, then wash away. But be honest, how many people do you think have really ever done this? I'm guessing not many.